All right, good morning and welcome to Master Talker Online class. Today, we'll be solving this simple question someone gave us. Okay, the question said uh, uh, that we should. And we have an AP has common difference five, and a GP has common ratio minus two. Okay, a new series is formed by adding corresponding terms of the progression. Okay, given that the first term of this of this new series is thirteen and the seventh term is six seven three, calculate the first term of the GP and AP and equally find the nth term of the new series. Okay, as simple as that. What do we do? We can say let let the first term let the first term let the first term of the AP be A1 and and the first term of the GP be A2. Okay? So since I've gotten the first term of the AP and the first term of the GP, now let's get the terms of the AP. Terms of the AP. Look at how the terms will look like. The terms of this is the first term, A1, comma. The second term is gotten by saying the first term plus the common difference. So I'm going to have A1 plus the common difference. The next term is the second term plus the common difference. So which is what? A1 plus 5 plus 5, which is what? Plus 10. The next one will be what? A1 plus 15, comma, dot, dot, dot. That is how it, co it continues. So, for but for the GP, terms of the GP, terms of the GP is, uh, the, the first term is A2. The second term is gotten by the first term times the common ratio, which is what? Minus 2 times A2, which is minus 2A2. The next term is this one times, you know, in, in AP, it's always addition. But in GP, it's multiplication. So, this thing now, times the common ratio again, which will give you 4A2, because minus 2 times minus 2 will give you plus 4. So the next one, my 4 times this again, I'm having minus 8A2, comma, dot, dot, dot. This is how it continues. Now, the terms of the new series, terms, terms of the new series. Terms of the new series is gotten just by adding the corresponding terms of this, which is what? A1 plus A2, this is the first term. The second term is what? A1 plus 5 plus, uh, sorry, plus minus will not give you minus. Minus 2A2. Okay? The next term is what? A1 plus 10. This is first, second, then plus what? 4A2. Comma, dot, dot, dot. So, this is how, okay, let me say comma. The next term should be what? A1 plus 15 minus 8A2, comma, dot, dot, dot. So this is how the terms are. So, but they told us something, that the first term of this new GP is 10. So the first term is what? This is the first term here. A1, T1 of this new GP is what? A1 plus, now let me just say, is T1 for the AP plus T1 for the GP, which is what? A1 plus what? A2. And they say that is equal to 13. So this thing is equal to 13, equation 1. Now, the next thing they say that, that the seventh term is equal to what? 673. So the seventh term of this new GP is what? The seventh term of the AP plus the seventh term of the what? The GP. So what they say is equal to what? 673. With the formula of AP, seventh term of any AP is what? A plus 6D plus seventh term of any GP is what? A R raised to power 6, which is equal to what? 673. So let's go. We know what our D is. So I have what? A plus 6 bracket 3 plus A bracket minus 2 raised to power 6 is equal to what? 673. So what do we have now? I'm oh, sorry. The D is 5, not 3. So I have this plus 30 uh, plus minus square D, uh, minus raised to power even number. The minus will change to plus, so it will go. So I have 2 raised to the power 6 to give you 64. So I'm having 64A2. Okay, this is A1, A2, sorry. So A2 is equal to what? 6, 7, 3. So collect items, I'm having that A1 plus 6, 4, 4, uh, 64A2 is equal to what? 6, 7, 3 minus 30. So what am I having? A1 plus 64. A2 is equal to what? 643. Equation 2. 
Okay, so let's now solve equation 1 and 2 simultaneously. So solving 1 and 2 simultaneously, I'm going to have, let me bring 2 first. 2 said, uh, a, a1 plus 64a2 is equal to 643. Then equation 1 said, a1 plus a2 is equal to 13. So let us subtract. This minus this is gone. This minus this will give you 63a2 is equal to this minus this will give you uh, 3 minus 3, 0, 3, 6. So I'm getting that a2 is equal to what? 630 divided by 63, which is equal to what? 10. So since I've gotten my a2, but I know that a1, a1 plus a2 is equal to 13. So therefore, a1 plus 10 is equal to what? 13, which implies that a1 is equal to what? 13 minus 10, which is equal to what? 3. So therefore, I will now tell them that that the first term of the AP, the first term, the first term of the AP is equal to A1, and I've gotten it as what? 3. Then, the first term of the GP is equal to A2, and I've gotten it as what? 10. Now, to get the corresponding terms of the AP, of the new series, is what? The nth term of the new series is what? The nth term of the AP plus the nth term of the GP. So, the nth term of any AP, what's the formula? A plus what? N minus 1 bracket D. Plus, the nth term of a GP is what? Uh, a R raised to the power N minus 1. So, my A, my A, I've gotten my A to be what? 3. This is A1, while this is A2. A1 is what? 3 plus N minus 1, because I'm looking for the nth term. So, and D is what? 5 plus uh, 10 bracket minus 2 minus 2 raised to the power n minus 1. So what do I have now? I'm having 3 plus 5n minus 5 plus 10 into minus 2 raised to the power n minus 1. So I'm having this and this will give you 2 minus 2. So I'm having 5n minus 2 plus 10 raised, 10 to raised to the power n minus 1. So this is the what? The nth term of the new series. So this is the nth term of the new series. Can we check if it is correct? Okay. The first term of the new series should be what? Uh, n will now be 1. So I'm having 5 into 1 minus 2 plus 10 minus 2 raised to the power 1 minus 1. So what do I have now? 5 times 1, 5. 5 minus this, I'm having 3 plus uh, this is 0, 8 raised to the power 0, 1. So I'm having 10. So both of them is giving me 13. And they say that the first term of this new series is 13. So this is the what? The end term of the series. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate. Please like, share, and subscribe. God bless you.